Everybody, this is Christian Buckley with another MVP Buzz Chat. I'm talking today with Shahan. Hello. Hi, Christian. How are you? Thanks for having me. Doing well. It's great to have you. And for folks that don't know you, who are you? Where are you? And what do you do? Yes. Um, so I'm Shahan Pereira. Um, I'm from Adelaide, South Australia. Um, so I'm a consultant, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft 365 uh, side of things in a company called Data3. Um, so we implement, um, we uh, usually uh, look at the projects, um, do implementations and things like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm a consultant at the moment. Very cool. So what, what's your career been like? Have you been focused on for the last few years this space or what's kind of your background? Uh, how I started, um, so my career in IT started back in 2006, um, of course, as a, a health disk engineer. Um, but I was always passionate for Microsoft, uh, Microsoft technologies and what they do uh, to the world to make it a better place. Um, so I started doing um, um, their certifications, um, got hold of their technologies, um, and then I moved on to um, to a bit of a senior position um, in, in IT, but still doing um, but uh, troubleshooting it can be uh, uh, things like that. And then in 2012, I moved on to uh, uh, from um, helping the internal customers to help uh, to helping external customers. So um, yeah, so um, that was basically project based um, things I looked at. Um, I think from day one, I started looking at Office 365 back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, so applications to Office 365, uh, moving, uh, moving emails to cloud and things like that. Um, and um, after coming to Australia in 2016, uh, then uh, my focus changed a bit. Um, I went back to um, helping the internal users, but I used my um, the technology um, ability, the focus uh, to help them in a better way. Um, so it was not just um, user uh, support, but um, I managed to do some of the major projects as well. Uh, so that helped me to uh, move uh, in my career to come to this uh, position um, as a consultant today. Um, um, so again, I'm back, back, back in the fields, um, helping the customers doing the projects. So it, it was pretty much a long way, uh, but I think I'm really happy uh, in uh, the, the place I'm in at the moment. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's great. And and I know that, uh, so you're a relatively new enterprise mobility MVP, so yes. kind of what's your focus because enterprise mobility covers a number of different areas uh, yes. but so what what was kind of your path to becoming an mvp and and what's your focus yeah um so it was definitely the blog i started writing in 2019 um so back in the when i, when I first started i didn't have any uh, focus on uh, what should i write i wrote any, anything microsoft 365 and um, when, which i'm passionate about my main theme was um, we are taking things from the internet every day. Uh, we look into internet um, to find out, um, let's say, what's this error um, to troubleshoot things. But my idea was, um, why don't I give it give back to the uh, community? So I started writing. Um, it can be um, something about Microsoft um, ex uh, Exchange uh, or Teams or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I really liked the device management side of it um, and the identity management part, uh, Azure AD and Microsoft Intune. So I think I changed the focus um, after some time. Um, I did a lot of DIY stuff during the weekends uh, when it comes to identity management. Um, so I thought, why not I write about uh, what, I, what I got to know. Um, so that's how I changed my focus into uh, Microsoft Intune and um, Azure AD side of things. And um, and I got to do a lot of projects as well. So I used that knowledge um, in my um, blog writings. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm mainly um, focusing on Microsoft Intune uh, product at the moment and uh, anything that comes with it. For example, it can be Microsoft Defender um, and it can be a bit of um, KQL um, that goes with Log Analytics. Uh, actually log analytics uh, side of things. So that's uh, what makes uh, uh, me to uh, help me to write 
um, when it comes to blogs. And I think that helped me to become um, the, uh, the MVP um, today um, and to nominate in that enterprise mobility side of things. You know, I, I've always said that, uh, you know, write what you know and what you're passionate about, regardless of what other people are writing about and doing. You can't go and look and say, well, you know what? Somebody else wrote like the definitive blog post on that topic. Therefore, I won't share my experience because you have your perspectives. You have your customer internal or external customer experiences. You have your sense of humor, your visit, your background, your industry knowledge, kind of all those different things. It's going to be different. And, and there's nothing wrong with then pointing to those other articles that you it reference those, call them out. In fact, highly recommend that one, don't plagiarize, but you know, it's just more of a lesson for those that are, that are listening in, uh, you know, but don't plagiarize that, you know, and, but it's a good thing to call out, to name drop, like, Hey, this person wrote a great blog or created this great walkthrough video of this problem area, and then add your, you know, your, your experiences on top of what they've did and build onto that yeah i think that's um that's the that's the sense of um the community uh right so you help each other you are uh, you um you promote each other um in that way everyone would get a chance to um shine in a way um and also um yeah as, as you mentioned um it can be the same same uh, troubleshooting method or something like that um mm -hmm reinventing the wheel um that's what i'm thinking um i used to write i'm still doing that um what was my experience um implementing this um let's say piece of um piece of uh, software or something like that or maybe um what involved what are the gotchas things like that sometimes um, when it comes to troubleshooting, um, there are a lot of articles that says, um, okay, these, these are the steps, these are the screenshots, so you know how to do it. But sometimes there are no articles or there are no information in the internet saying what was my experience um, involving this implementation. Um, it doesn't have to be a very small one, or it can be a company-wide um, um, implementation. So you know what things to look at, uh, what are the gotchas and um, um, and what was my exact experience doing this? So I use a lot of those sort of uh, things in my blog writing. Um, and people, uh, when someone looks at it, yes, it's I want to give a one-stop uh, sort of uh, experience. Um, so yeah, and also, as you mentioned, um, I do uh, mentions as well. Um, and I see uh, some uh, in the community, um, they have mentioned my blogs as well, so which is a good thing. Yep. Uh, so yeah. So that's a community um, sense, yeah. It, it is good to that. That's a great point. It, it's good to watch for uh, and see where, where people may, you know, mention you and doing other things so that you can go back. And again, this is part of the growing the community is to when you find those, whenever I find that somebody is, you know, mentioned me or one of my articles or a video or something and kind of calls me out and, you know, thank the person, you know, you know, connect with them. And sometimes it's great when, uh, you know, I find somebody that, I'm not following on Twitter or I'm not connected to on LinkedIn and to reach out and thank them for that connection. You want to, you know, you, you, you definitely want to do that kind of, uh, you know, you know, pay it back and, and, uh, uh, and then, you know, maybe find other ways that you can connect and, and, and do some, you know, create new content and stuff around that maybe jointly with, with people. So yeah. it's a great way to connect with people. That's right. I think it's all all uh, goes back to the same thing. Um, uh, we get from the internet uh, every day, um, day in day out. But um, I think sometimes we forget to probably do a, a, re, a reshare or repost or maybe give a thumbs up uh, to that article. So I think writing back would cover everything up um, because I'm giving giving it back to the community. I think everyone, uh, every MVP and everyone who does that job doing doing the same thing. Uh, they're giving back to the community, which is a, which is a very good thing. Yeah. Speaking of the community, so how is the community, uh, 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 how is it going in your part of the world? Because I know that a lot of user groups are kind of struggling. Some are mm -hmm. coming back in person. So how's that been for you? Yeah. Um, so I think um, during the past couple of years, it was all, um, so um, I'm not um, holding any any uh, user groups. Um, I'm merely a member of the groups most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, um, it's coming back to in-person um, events now. 
um, in person, half in person, you can still join via Teams if you are working from home, um, in, something like that. Uh, but yeah, it was all uh, it was all virtual, um, and uh, things are slowly uh, getting back into place right now. Um, that's something which I uh, want to do as well because I feel like I'm one of those uh, MVPs who provide the knowledge by writing only. Um, yeah. Is something which, which I, there's nothing wrong with that and some people you know don't want I, look i've got one of my kids is a germaphobe and like like i get it you know and and like it's it just nervous about getting back in and other people just like prefer just to not have that that interaction and just and there look there are mvps still out there i i know a couple personally who all they do is through forums and out in tech community and a couple other places um, and they're very active out on Reddit and uh, and Discord and uh, and tech community, and yeah. that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it takes all kinds to be an MVP. You know, uh, there, there's different path for everybody. Yeah, yeah. I think when I when I first thought um, when I first uh, you know uh, when I first started my blog in 2019, so I was writing doc articles. Um, I didn't think about becoming an MVP one day. Um, I just want to want to share my knowledge. And yeah. one of my best friends out there, and he said, uh, "Why don't you thinking about uh, being nominated as an MVP?" Um, and I told him, um, "It's it's it's it." Uh, it has a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, I I thought maybe I need to be a all rounder. Um, I need to speak. I need to do um, a lot of community uh, community contributions. Yeah. Um, then again, I reached out to the community. I talked with some of the MVPs, and they said, "No, it doesn't have to be everything. If you are right. good at something, yeah, just do it." Yeah. And uh, talk to your community program manager in your region, and uh, they will help you. So that's yeah. the same thing I did. Um, and because I had um, some solid work um, already, that right. helped me get nominated. Yeah. yeah, of course. I, I mean, that's a great point too. It's, it's not just about quantity; it is about quality and impact. Yeah. The hardest part is probably just, uh, you know, getting the attention of of Microsoft. Because now you used to be able to go in and say, "Hey, look, I've got a great body of work um, that I could talk about." And I could self-nominate. You can't do that anymore. It has to be Microsoft or an existing MVP that refers you into the program. And I have, I've had people come forward to me that I sort of know casually through the, the, the community. They're like, hey, could you nominate me? I'm like, I don't know the body of your work. I like, let, let's have a conversation. And, and then I try to be very honest back as like, I, I here's what I think that you could do around this to kind of package that to surface that to get microsoft's attention at the end of the day though i mean if we're submitting names it's it I, I think it's the the best path is if you have microsoft contacts and they're aware uh yeah. the, uh, of what you're doing and have them refer you because it has even more weight than we do as mvps um yeah. but then you you need to think about what are other mvps doing am i doing similar type activities it's not a one-to-one. -one. There's no checklist, as you know. There, yeah. It's not like, hey, I've done all the things, therefore give me my award. It's Microsoft's to give. It's a bit of a bat black box. We don't know what the process is exactly. Um, but at the end of the day, kind of go back to what you said, like you weren't in initially looking to become an MVP. You were just doing things in the community. And that's really the secret. Have a little bit of humility do good things, participate in the community. If it doesn't happen, you've done these good things, you'll have positive impact and you'll yeah. get positive benefits out of that. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, I think um, when, when I change the focus to, uh, to do more um, in, um, in tune and um, um, actual AD side of things, I noticed, um, so, and then my friend planted the seed uh, about being an MVP. Um, so I checked the structure. Uh, so I noticed, yes, um, be before uh, the identity and management, uh, identity management changed to the security, like very recently, it was all in one bucket. Mm -hmm. um, mobility and security, I think. Um, yeah. yeah um, so that's that's when I thought, okay, so I got the stuff already uh, that I've written and you, uh, Microsoft uh, have got the structure that will fit into my criteria as well. Yep. Um, and the, the community program manager um, helped me a lot to understand uh, what uh, more things need to be done, 
um, and um, actually uh, she validated uh, the the articles as in um, um, gave, gave me the gave me the green light to go to the next step. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the next step is the product groups um, are validating approval. My approval. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So the the information needs to be the what I've written needs to be um, accurate as well. So I think I've done my my, my done my job hundred percent there to get validated. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for somebody that doesn't have uh, you know uh, to get to that step and be working with the community managers because they have them, uh, you know, around the world uh, representing each of the different regions. Uh, and if you don't know who those people are, you don't have that contact. Uh, again, talk to an MVP. You know. Yes. And that's a great way to just to to get kind of plugged in and and referred and and again I I try to be very honest with people about hey I I, I just don't think that's the level at which Microsoft will consider you for that but it doesn't hurt to have that first conversation and take that feedback and and uh, think about what what more things that you could do to again surface those those activities yeah yeah. I think that being an MVP gives you that sense of um, leadership um, and you are basically a community influencer when it comes to technology and um, people would um, rather than um, thinking twice, they know, okay, this is coming from MVP. So this need, needs to be uh, correct. The information yeah. that you provide needs to be correct. And I think it's our responsibility always to give the correct information, um, lead them in the right path as well. Yeah. Well, I, I need to stop with all my guesstimates then for the, <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you think? I know there's, well, sometimes, and you know that too, there's, there's sometimes it's an educated guess. Sometimes it's, I can't tell you what I think because in my mind, I'm thinking my knowledge that I have, was that an NDA call or is that public information? And so I have to kind of pull yeah. my punches sometimes, but yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. it messes with your head people you know the, mm. the stuff that we know <laughs> yes yeah, i think i started to get the feel of it and yeah, yeah i think you're correct there yeah, yeah we have to be extra careful we can't you know guess and did like is that truly a guess or did my suppressing some knowledge that i actually know about roadmap Ooh, yeah yeah you've got to be careful but yes. well very cool well shahan it was really great to uh to meet you and uh Hope to be down in your part of the world early next year. So we're doing travel bu budgets and plans right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad things are opening up. I miss I miss traveling down to uh, Anzed region. So I'm I'm yeah. hoping to be in both New Zealand and Australia uh, in yeah. first quarter. So I'll I'll let you know if I'm in the vicinity, and we'll yeah. have to try and get together. And that's right. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. for folks yeah. that want to follow you or find out about you, what are the best ways to reach you? Where are you most active in social? Yes. Um, so uh, obviously my LinkedIn. Um, so you can find me uh, from uh, Shahan Pereira uh, 85 um, and my Twitter, Twitter handle uh, Shahan Pereira 85 uh, and my um, uh, Instagram, which is uh, Shahan J Pereira. Excellent. Well, we'll get all that information out in the blog post as well. And Thank thanks you. so much. Have a great day and we'll uh, connect with you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow.